Hello guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. As you know by now, I'm James and this is Technical Effects. Welcome to Technical Insights episode 33. Um, in Technical Insights, guys, I give you an insight into about four or five markets. Today we've got five markets. We're breaking down US dollar, Euro Japan Yen, Euro AUD, GB Pound USD and AUD Japan Yen, taking a look at where I believe the markets could head to over the next week. Now, guys, this is my insight. This is not trading signals, okay? So this is just my analysis. This is my insight, and you trade from your own analysis. So hope you get a nice feel of where I believe these markets are going to potentially go to over the next week, and hopefully you can use those in line with your own analysis, and you can also learn from my analysis as well. So... As you can see, guys, in front of us, we've got the dollar index. Now, Friday was a very slow day in the market. It was a public holiday for the US dollar. Um, and we saw low volatility, low momentum across the board of the markets over pretty much the whole of Friday. Um, however, let's dive into the dollar here, taking a look at the weekly candle. Now, what we can see here from the weekly candle, guys, is that we spiked into the 50 EMA absolutely Pip perfect. Okay, so the market is re is pushed into this region just here of this 50 EMA and has shown a strong rejection from there. We can see the weekly candle has closed, showing nice bearish momentum on this candle. So on the lower time frames now, we just need to really see this continue with the momentum to the downside. Going into the daily time frame, overall at the moment on the daily time frame, technically the market is still putting in higher highs and higher lows. Here we had a lower high, then we had a higher low, then we had a higher high, then we had a higher low, then we had a higher high, and we're yet to break this higher low point. However, if we just zoom out and we just use our crosshair, just through this region just here, you can see previous resistance, support, 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 resistance, resistance, and now the market, just using the crosshair naked chart, and now the market is rejected from this region once, twice, three times, most recently here on the daily time frame. This shows us that 12350, 12360 is a very key point in this market where we could see a rejection from. Now, I often get questions uh, about the US dollar index. Why do I analyze the US dollar index? I do not trade it. It is purely and simply to show me whether the dollar index is looking to show strength or whether the dollar index is looking to show weakness. It helps within other markets like Euro USD, GB Pound USD, AUD USD, markets which involve the US dollar, whether it be the base or the quote currency. So that's why I use the US dollar. And it's actually looking like over the next week, guys, we could see this bearish movement continue. We came close into the daily 50 EMA. We've seen a rejection off of that weekly 50 EMA. All we really now need to see is the market continue through this higher low point right here to show us that the daily time frame, the higher time frames are very important. So to show us that the daily time frame is now ready to, to continue to the downside um, and roll over from this current retracement that we're seeing. So breaking it down into the four hour time frame um, and bringing back the technicals, just really taking a look. So you can see here, one, two, three, fifty rejection, rejection, rejection. The market did slowly form in some highs. However, it failed to really continue with those highs. Now, some people would like to add on a trend line just through this point, just through here, where you can see price broke it and is now back above, now broke it again. Personally, I'm not really too interested in the trend line. I'm more interested in focusing on what the market structure is showing me here. So at the moment, breaking down the market structure, okay, we can see we had a high point at this region just through here. Following on from this high point, the market did break through the higher low, which was right here, broke through, it retested it, we've now continued off to the downside. Now if we just add on another area of structure point just through here, we can see that this area was retested Thursday, Friday last week, and the market's now pushing off from this area to the downside. So what we would now really be focused on is this low point. If this low point now gets broken, what does that tell us? Well, it tells us that the market's put in a new lower low. We'll then be looking for a new lower high, and then we'll be looking for the continuation. However, remember what I said from the higher time frames, this area just through here must be broken to show us a daily lower low in the market. So it's very important as what we're gonna see happen at this region of 12250 uh, going into next week. So bearish market structure at the moment here on the four hour time frame. The market is showing a rejection from this point of previous 12320, 12323. 
and we are seeing the potential now continuation to the downside. We've broken onto the bearish side of this 50 EMA, we've retraced back into it, we're rejecting from it. So everything to me right now points to the downside within the dollar index. It would only be if we obviously see the market structure take a shift and we start to see the market break higher to the upside. We would really need to see the market break above this region here to confirm further higher high points. And that would also confirm a new higher high on the daily time frame as we covered the structure there on the daily time frame. So for the moment, bearish market structure, weekly candle showing bearish move, um, daily time frame showing potential continuation to the downside. We know we've got this key region here of 12250, 12260. So I'm just now going into next week going to be looking at, for this low here to be broken to show us the continuation to the downside. Downside movement shows us US dollar weakness. Upside movement shows us US dollar strength. So that's really what I'm looking at as we go into the next week um, with the US dollar index. <clears throat> Now going into Euro Japan Yen, um, onto the uh, weekly time frame, we can see previously we did see uh, this sort of rejection point off of the 50 EMA, did not hold, price pushed to the upside. However, if we just zoom out and we take a look at where price has technically pushed into, you can see this very key support, you can see this very key resistance and this resistance just through here, where Euro Japan Yen is currently sitting. That is where price is currently sitting. There's nothing on the chart, just pure crosshair and just pure market uh, visual of the market of where we're currently sitting at the minute. 121, 12900 is the region that we're currently sitting in here within Euro Japan Yen. Um, <clears throat> So from here, guys, I'm really interested to see where this market is going to decide to go to next. As we go into the daily time frame, we can see that over the last week, we didn't really see too much movement. Okay, We saw a bullish move on Monday, but then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday was very low movement days. And we saw this the week prior. We had Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, very low movement. So overall, we're not seeing a great deal of movement in this market. And this is very, very visual on the four hour time frame. So as we go back into the four hour time frame, um, we just bring back the technicals, reset it. What we can see here, guys, is previously nice uptrending move. Okay, so a nice uptrending move. Then we can see a nice downtrending move. What market structure and direction are we currently seeing in this region right here? Are we seeing the market form higher highs and higher lows? Sorry, low, uh, higher highs, higher lows like this? Or are we seeing it form lower highs and lower lows like this? We're seeing neither. We are seeing neither. So whilst the market is in this region here, we know it's a key area because we broke that down from the weekly time frame. We just need the market to show us where it's going to go next. Now, some people will look at this and say that they're seeing an inverse head and shoulders pattern. Fair enough. You it could potentially play out. And this inverse head and shoulders pattern would form left shoulder into the neckline, head into the neckline, then potential right shoulder back into the neckline. No problem. But for me to trade that, I would always be looking for this to break above this point, pull back and then continue to the upside. That is what I would be looking for because we've seen so far three, just, just make that a bit straight. Okay, we've seen one rejection, two rejection, three rejection, from this area of resistance. So personally, I would like to see the market form a new higher high above this resistance, then pull back into this region and then take a long position rather than buying into this resistance and potentially being rejected because we know it can potentially be rejected from what we've seen happen previously over the last week in this area. Now, because there is no structure in this market, I don't like to dig very deep to find the structure because you just end up trading the range when you do that. So I'm going to look for the market to either break higher or break below here for a lower low, lower high, then the continuation to the downside. I want to see this area here cleared to the downside to show me that it's now ready to continue with the overall downside move. Now, uh, there's nothing wrong in doing that because we know here on the daily time frame that the market may just be showing a retracement to show overall continuation to the downside. So if we just wait for the break beyond 120, all we're looking for there is to clear that daily 50 EMA, clear out of the current area which has got four choppy days here, four choppy days over the last week. We're just being patient and allowing the market to be clear. If the market's not clear to you, just sit back and wait for the market to become clear. There is nothing wrong with doing so. Okay, so that's what I'm looking at next week within Euro Japan Yen. 
Euro AUD. Um, we'd been in a long term range within this one guys long term range and we can see this here two weekly candles really did show us the, the, the long term sideways range here one two uh, where the market just pretty much was just bouncing backwards and forwards okay however we can see that we on the weekly time frame here nice weekly bearish candle we did close off and if we just use the crosshair okay using the crosshair through here you can see this resistance point resistance point and through here the resistance point so just by using the crosshair we can now see that the market has respected this area also i always say that market structure retests market structure what can you see happen at this point of lower low we broke the weekly lower low we pulled back into the weekly lower low for a new lower high into the 50 ema and we're now rejecting from that point and now the weekly candles looking to show us continuation of this to the downside so as we now go into the daily time frame okay we can now start to see okay the market was very choppy in this region just here but we finally now taken a breakout of this area four hour time frame as we take bring back the technicals you can very very well clearly see once i get the chart back to normal that the market here was in this overall range and move We've now taken a breakout. We've now spiked back to the upside. I'm now very interested in this market as we go into the new week, looking for the market to show a maybe another rejection from this point to allow me to take the short position to the downside into 1.6. Okay, I'm overall bearish in this market, breaking it down from the weekly to the daily to the four hour is showing me overall bearish movement in this market. If we end up breaking 1.6, this opens a lot more space to the downside. Now, 1.6 here, guys, is this low point here on the daily time frame where you can see previously we have seen rejection points. And also, it's the very key area on the weekly time frame where we had this resistance and we had many, many rejections here as support and resistance previously here. So that's where I'm looking for the market to come into. But... If we break through that region, then we have a lot more room into 1.57, 1.57, 150. So overall here within Euro AUD, I'm most definitely bearish in this market unless we see the market structure shift. But at the moment, we've now seen the breakout to the downside and I'm now looking for the continuation into 1.6 down here. GB pound USD. Um, if we are to see the... Um, US dollar index continue with the strength, then I'm expecting to see your, uh, GB pound USD continue to the upside. Now we can see here, guys, that the market has just failed to break through this area of 1.23200. It's just continued to break through for the last two weeks. We saw a slight dip below last week, but the market failed to remain below that region. So we've seen a bearish candle, then we've seen a bearish pin bar. Following on from this bearish pin bar, we've then reverted back to the upside, showing bullish movement in the market, potentially to lead this market back to the upside, especially if we see further dollar weakness to the downside, I will be expecting to see further upside in GB pound USD. Taking a look here, what we're seeing happen on the daily time frame of GB pound USD. Now, guys, this resistance area just through here, this previous lower high. So on the daily time frame, we had a high point. We had a higher low, lower high, lower low, lower high, lower low. If we break this region of lower high right here, it shows us a higher high in the market, which will show us further continuation to the upside, potential longer term continuation to the upside because that's a structure shift on the daily time frame higher the time frame stronger to move we've broken above the 50 ema we've come back friday was a low volatility and low momentum day but we are seeing the market show a slight bullish hammer off this region into the four hour time frame and bringing back the technicals if we can now make it above 1.25, 1.25100, which is this point right here, if we can make it above that region and this point right here, then I will be looking for long positions. I'm looking for a higher high, higher low, and then the move into 1.26300. However, if the market decides to reject and break below this point, then we'll see a lower low, lower high, and the continuation to the downside. This point right here, which is what I covered on the daily time frame, is very significant and important to us to determine if we get that broken and we remain above, or whether the market gets rejected and pushes below that region of the 50 EMA just here. So that is exactly what I'm going to be looking for as we go into the next week of GB pound USD, just keeping it real simple right there. Let's just drag these areas across because we 
could end up with a downside move and we want to be prepared. Um, so let's just drag these across. So that's done. And that is my forecast for GB pound USD as we go into the next week. Last market then of this market insights is AUD Japan Yen. Weekly time frame here, guys. We're currently seeing a bullish candle. We've seen the previous rejection here off of the 50 EMA. You can see just through here, bearish candle into this area. More selling pressure than buying pressure on this slight indecisive candle. But then the next week, we didn't even break below the previous low. We pushed straight back to the upside. And this week, we've also rolled over to the upside. Overall, we have quite been in a bit of a choppy range. Take a look previously, nice descending move, nice ascending move, descending move. But over the sort of last two, three weeks, AUD Japan Yen has pretty much showed us no market structure. Now, we're failing at the moment to break above this area of 74,700, 74,500 um, in that region just there. Um, we're failing to break above there. We've got three days last week, one, two, three, where the market attempted but failed. So eventually, we will need to break out of this region one way or the other. So what I'm currently looking at in this market is I'm currently seeing the market overall form higher lows. So we are seeing the market reject from here. Higher low, higher low, higher low, higher low. But the market is failing to form the overall higher highs. So if we're able to eventually start to form a higher high, I will look for a higher low. We can highlight this to us by just adding on a small ray onto the chart, which just highlights one, two, three. We can there also place an, an ascending trend line on this chart to say, right, we know the market is being squeezed between this resistance and this ascending trend line. And what I would be looking for is the market to break out to the upside to form a higher high, higher low, and then the push into 76,500. Okay, so I'm more overall bullish on this market than I am bearish. Personally, if the market breaks this area to the downside, I wouldn't really be looking at a short until we clear this region. Why? Purely and simply just because when I look left, this is a very choppy market and I would rather I rather trade markets which are trending or showing at least some trending movement. And if we break out of this consolidation pattern to the upside with the higher high, the higher low, we would then be pushing into potential continuation of bullish um, trending movement. So I just want to see a breakout of this overall range to really show me some clear directional movement. There's nothing wrong with being patient. Some people will take the trade in this range. No problem. Like, it's entirely up to you. But say, for example, you took a short position from this point right here off this bearish engulfing. It wouldn't have been a very successful trade because at the end of the day, you would have had to have targeted this support. OK, you would have had to have targeted this support. It's a 1 to 2.4 risk to reward, but the market was in this range. And did the market make it to the area of support again down here? No, it didn't. We saw a re we saw the market return back to the upside. So trading in a range can be very unpredictable, whereas I prefer to trade with the trend and go with the structure of the market. So that is just a reason and an insight into why I wouldn't really be looking at taking a trade in this range in area. OK, so let's see if AUD Japan Yan can take a breakout to the upside next week. That's a, a Technical Insights episode 33. We've broke down the US dollar index, Euro Japan Yan, Euro AUD, GB Pound USD and AUD Japan Yan. Hope you guys have enjoyed this episode. Um, hope you guys keep learning from our YouTube channel. Keep supporting. Don't forget to give us a like and subscribe, guys. Hope you have a fantastic weekend. Hope last week was great. Uh, we're now in Q3, so I'm wishing you all the best for Q3. And have a great week ahead, guys. I'll see you in the next episode.